reflections on that, I mean, speed was on from the get-go. Yeah, it was, it was on, that's for sure. The, on from the swim, and then the boys were pushing really hard on the bike, and it was really impressive that Vasco in the second pack caught up quite quickly as well, because I thought we were pushing quite hard, but yeah, and then it was full gas on the, on the, on the run. I got caught back a little bit in T2, just trying to be careful through the technical sections, and had to work my way through, and then was able to drop Vasco and Pierre towards the end, and they hung pretty tough, but yeah, I managed to kick away, which is great. Good position to be in. I mean, like, you know, you were biding your time back there on that first lap. It was kind of like, you know, no panic. Just make, make sure you're able to reel it back in. For sure. I mean, it's a it's a long, long 5K. So, you know, you've got to build your way through. And I, I knew the pace would settle down after the speed of T2. And I just had to settle into my rhythm and then try and drop the boys in the way up the hill in the second lap. So, yeah. There's a couple of people back there going, just watch the uh, the hammer's going to go down in a minute and sure enough it did and it was basically a sub 50 sprint yeah i mean yeah it, it needed to be i mean vasco was you know i tried the first surge and he i could still feel, feel his breathing on the back of my neck and uh, i was like all right i gotta settle down and go again a little bit closer towards the end and i was just thankful that i could drop in but no really really impressed with my form out there and um just goes to show that the, the hard work's paying off thank you